In this video, we are going to check functions whether they are 1-1 or not. So let me take the first example. I am taking f from 0 infinity to r and I am going to define it by f of x is equal to x upon 1 plus x. Now I am going to check this function is 1-1 or not. So what is the definition of 1-1? We will say that let fx be equal to fy and I am going to check whether this simplifies to x equal to y. So what is fx? fx is x upon 1 plus x is equal to fy is y upon 1 plus y. I am going to simplify this. So I am going to get x 1 plus y equal to y into 1 plus x. This means that x plus xy is equal to y plus xy and when I cancel xy from both sides, I am going to get x is equal to y. So this means that this function is a 1 1 function. Let us take one more example. I am going to take a function f from r to r. And that function I am going to define by f of x is equal to ax plus b into 1 minus x. Where this a and b are not equal. Now let us check whether this function is 1 1 function or not. So let fx be equal to fy. Therefore what will I get? Therefore, I will get ax plus 1 minus xb is equal to ay plus 1 minus y into b. I will simplify this. So, I will get ax plus b minus bx is equal to ay plus b minus yb. Remember that we want to check whether x is equal to y. So I will keep the terms of x together and I will keep the terms of y together. So what will I get here? So I am going to get a minus b x this b and this b have cancelled is equal to a into uh, sorry b into y into a minus b. Now I know that a and b are not equal. Since a and b are not equal, this a minus b quantity is certainly not equal to 0. So I can cancel the term a minus b from both the sides. So I will cancel a minus b from both the sides and I will get that x is equal to y. So we started with fx equal to fy and we have concluded that x is equal to y. So this means that the given function is a 1 1 function. Therefore f is a 1 1 function. Now let us check the third function whether it is 1 1 or not. So what I will assume is again the same thing fx is equal to fy. So let fx be equal to fy and I will try to conclude that x is equal to y. So this will not be very easy as the previous two problems. So when I say this fx equal to fy I will get x cube is equal to y cube. Now if x cube is equal to y cube, I have to uh, now show that x is equal to y. So what will happen if uh, x and y both are 0? So if x cube and y cube are both 0, then obviously x is equal to y. So I am just looking it into three cases. So let me say case 1. If I say that if x cube is equal to y cube, is equal to 0, then what will happen? 
then obviously x is equal to 0 and y is also equal to 0 and therefore x will be equal to y. So in this case x is equal to y. Now if you observe here x cube equal to y cube means that if, uh, uh, if x and y both are positive only then x cube and y cube can be equal because if x is positive and y is negative then uh, cube of positive number is positive and cube of negative number is negative. So at the same time x cube and y cube cannot become positive and negative. So what, what should be the only option left with us that both x cube and y cube are positive numbers uh, me, I mean to say that x and y are also positive numbers. right? So in the second case I will say that x and y both have to be positive because one positive one negative will not give us this equation because if one is positive and other is negative then cube of positive will be positive and cube of negative number will be negative and positive number cannot be equal to the negative number. So I am taking both positive. In the third case I will take both negative. Now if x and y both are positive what will happen? x cube equal to y cube will give me what? It will give me x cube minus y cube is 0 and therefore x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square is equal to 0. Now I know that x is positive, y is positive. So x square is also positive, x into y is also positive and y square is also positive. Why? Because x and y are positive numbers. So this is positive quantity and this is some different quantity and their multiplication is equal to 0. So what can I say about this particular person? It means that x minus y has to be equal to 0 and therefore in this case also x is equal to y. Where both x and y are positive. In the third case now what I will do is I will take x negative and y negative. Now what will happen if x is negative, y negative? Again the same step, again these steps will give me that x cube minus x cube minus y cube is 0 and means x cube equal to y cube and therefore x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square. What will happen to this thing? Now what is happening? x is negative, therefore the square is positive x is negative, y is negative, therefore multiplication of x and y is also again a positive number and y square is also positive. So again we are in the same situation that you have some number multiplied by some positive number and that multiplication is coming to be 0. So this means that this number x minus y has to be equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to y. So in all the three cases x cube is equal to y cube. In the first case when I took both of them to be 0, the problem was very simple because both of them were equal to 0. Then I had to take both positive. Then I got x equal to y. I had to take x is negative. Here also what? I got x equal to y. I hope you have understood that why are we not considering the case that x is positive and y is negative. Because I will repeat, if x is positive and y is negative, x cube will be also positive and y cube will become negative and positive and negative number cannot be equal but we are assuming that x cube is equal to y cube. So this ends the solution of this problem saying that the function fx equal to x cube is a 1-1 function.